Hello and welcome back to Dicebreaker, where today me and Lolis are playing Micro Macro Crime City, a place where apparently people choose to live. <laughs> Hello, Lolis. Even Lolies, though it's called doing? Crime City. Well, I said it on the podcast. It's like Midsummer, right? Yeah. Midsummer Murder. <laughs> that's that's where they live in the town of Midsummer Murders. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, so for anyone who didn't watch the podcast, this is uh, a sort of crime-solving game, kind of like Consulting Detective that we've talked about on the channel before, but it's all about visual crime-solving. So we've got this big map, uh, and you, you'll see a little zoomed-in thing here, but if we zoom out, whoa! It's look massive. At that. This is just... It's massive. This is what, like a fifth of the map as well, because this is just the demo? Oh, is it? Yeah, oh, yeah, God, yeah. I thought this was it. No, this is just um, like, or maybe a quarter. Like, it's just a This chunk. is like... Uh, a where's Wally that needs colouring in. Yes, but it also needs solving <laughs> because... So we're, we're doing the online demo for this. There's a link in the description below. Um, but we have a task to solve. So ladies, if you click on the little question mark in the bottom right of your one. Yeah. Uh -huh. We are playing the hot chip scenario. A Ooh. man was shot dead in a dark corner west of the market square. Many people heard the shot, but there is no trace of the perpetrator. First, we have to find the crime scene. Okay, so he's west of oh. the Market Square. Okay, Market Square. So I'm guessing this is the Market Square here because there's all kinds of, of like, stalls and things. Oh, no, got I him. found him. Yeah, I, I got him. You got him? Yeah. Sold. Okay, Sold. the corpse. <laughs> <laughs> you want to read this bit out? The body lies in a courtyard between the Market Square and the bank. It's the famous local DJ, Las Vegas. Not oh, Las Vegas. Ah, oh, that's very good. He's my Somebody favorite, favorite shot local him. DJ. <laughs> Next to him lies a bag of chips. Dun, dun, dun. Where was the victim earlier? Well, presumably... <gasps> I actually know. Oh? Sorry. Yeah. I've been looking around this map a lot. No, <laughs> Well, I'm guessing he's, he just um, bought well, some chips, right? Yeah, it's where we started. It's where we started. He's buying some chips right there. No. What? At the oh, starting crossroads. Yes. Yeah. Oh, my God. He's got his Because I was looking... Yeah, I was looking at him and the old lady, and I was like, haha, they look like they could be related. Um, Lodies, so you noticed that he's wearing a backpack here, but he's not on the crime scene. I didn't notice that. Oh, no, <laughs> so that's the kind of keen eye I bring to this investigating duo. Ooh. All right, Las Vegas was last seen in the market at the chip stand buying a bag of chips. Is there a suspect? Okay. It's the old lady. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can't click on the old lady, so that gives us a bit of a clue. Um, is there a suspect? Oh. oh, hold on. If you go across the crossroads, you see him walking towards the chip shop. So I guess we can follow him oh, yeah, yeah. around let's, the let's, map. Let's see his route here. Where does he Where does he come from before this? So this is by. Oh, look, look, look there, there, there. If you go, I see him. Yeah, yeah, you go there. He's packing. He's got his bag. money He's in got there. Cash money. <gasps> oh, look! Look at the balcony above him. Oh, someone's I seen see. him stacking money in the bag. This is how this game works. Everyone or at home. is it the cat? The cat's also watching him. The cat is also watching, although we can't click on either of them. So, although, um. right, look out for this guy and see if he follows him, I guess. So, where is he now? Ah, uh, look. Ah, uh, see the guy with his hat on? I think that's him. With the bubbly hat? No, no, no. So, if you, if you go, if you follow him back to where he was walking past the bar that <gasps> says tonight. With Look. the hat down. Yeah, he's got the same nose. See it? Yes, Look. I do. All right. Oh. The mysterious pursuer. The victim was followed throughout his journey by an unknown person wearing a hat. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. What do we need Where to do solve next, ladies? Well, I'm just there. Oh, right. We've that. Oh, yeah. We're, we're, we're well ahead of this. We're well ahead of this place. <laughs> The court, he lived in the courtyard. Mm. Lars Vegas lived in a courtyard apartment next to the clothes store. Before he left, he packed a large amount of money into his backpack on his balcony. That's a silly thing to do. It is. Presumably, he wanted to take the money to the bank, of course. It's uh... not shady at all. <laughs> well, he's a DJ, you know, some, maybe he's got tips, you know? <laughs> Cash tips, of course. <laughs> Maybe he's a DJ slash stripper and he's got a lot of got a lot of twenties <laughs> just sort of sitting around, you know? That's fine, this is life choice. Alright, what is the motive for murder? Can we now okay, we can't click on the guy who was peering at him. No, I'm watching him leaving Oh, okay, never mind. That's that's not good. I, I just watched him leave the market, but he's just carrying chips and the guy's still following him. 
Oh yeah, no. Um, look. Oh god, yeah. If you go back to the chip thing, you can see him now. Oh my god. Okay. Oh yeah, I didn't see him there. So where does where does he go in between now and the crime scene? He's there. And yeah, he's he still just... being followed. Yeah, nothing. So... He's just there. Is there money? Oh. oh, we should be able to see the guy after the murder walking away somewhere, right? Yeah. So like, where, where did he go? Bag of cash. Where did you go? Where... Oh wow! I just saw somebody's being held up at gunpoint. There's someone receiving some cash in the alleyway on the opposite side of that building block. Oh, oh! There's a guy with a hat that's wearing a backpack just above that. Oh yes, yes, there is. Is that the same backpack? I think it is. Could be. We can click on him. Okay, yeah, go for it. Yeah, the um, backpack. Oh, we could have seen that in another place as well. I think. Mm, yeah, it looks like it. Okay, so the culprit so apparently wanted the contents of the backpack. Las Vegas had the bag as he walked towards the bank, but it can no longer be found at the crime scene. Further south, the mysterious stalker was spotted making off with the backpack. Where? Oh God! Where is the perpetrator sitting with the loot? All right. Okay. So I guess we need to follow his route after this then. Yeah, I followed him up north. Yeah, he's going past these office oh. buildings now, right? He goes to the left. Yeah, past the theater. Oh yeah, I oh, see him. Past the pizzeria up top. Uh, oh, then? did he put it? Look, he's holding a gun. Behind the Where? pizzeria. Behind the pizzeria. Yeah, look, he's hiding oh. the gun. Oh. Oh. So where does he go after that? Well, he goes past the pizzeria, so he must have done that and then gone. Pass. Oh, so he hides the gun, then he walks to the east. So I mean, I'm guessing did he just he's. Go home? Oh, look, 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 no, look, look, behind the pizzeria. Um, uh -huh. And then go up and right. There's parasols with like an eating area. And look who uh... sat. Look who sat looking at his backpack. Well, well, well. If well, it's he, well, it's he. <laughs> the perpetrator has been found. He is sitting in the beer garden north of the theater square. He's taken his hat off and is searching through the stolen backpack. He was obviously after the money in it. Obviously. Obviously. Where is the murder weapon? Well, we've solved that already. Yeah, we just know he's um, uh, stored it down here in the uh, in the bins. Disposed of. <laughs> The perpetrator disposed of the gun in a dumpster in a dark corner behind the pizzeria. So, last question. Who is the murderer and how did they know about the money? Do we go back to the start for that? Back to the start think? where he was peering over the balcony, right? Mm-hmm. Boom. There he is. We are the very neighbor. good at this <laughs> Yeah, we are too good. The murderer is Hugo Rafka, a neighbor of Las Vegas. He could see the victim pack the money into his backpack from his balcony. Oh. Wow, we, I think it's because we were so incredibly observant that we like, you know, we were on it from from the moment we started. Also, that was only two stairs, which I'm I'm assuming is like the difficulty level. Yeah, so this is this is like a little demo one, which mm -hmm. is which is quite easy in comparison. Matt was saying on the podcast they get way harder. Um, yeah, but it says on mine. Now you you opened this just as we started filming, I think. So your time is probably more more accurate. Mine says thirteen minutes and thirty five seconds. Mine says thirteen minutes twenty seven seconds. I mean that's that's a pretty good time. That's a pretty that's good time. All right. I, I mean, say... you know, I think I think if we weren't doing it for the cameras, we would have just clicked it real quick, right? We would have been a lot quicker about yeah, it. Yeah, considering OBS says <laughs> we've been filming for eight minutes, I or nine minutes rather. I reckon we've actually done it way shorter than that, but we've had it open for the uh, for the pre roll. So there you mm -hmm. go. That is Micro Macro Crime C. Oh, that was a very, very quick demo. And it's, I know. that pretty much shows you exactly how the game works, which is pretty handy. Um, yeah, I mean, we were talking about that you can play it off the front of the box as well, yeah, can't you? It's like, really it's really, cool. really clever. Um, so I... that, that's essentially how it works. But you also get, so that was just like a, a small section of the map. The actual map is like this enormous poster that you yeah. can fold out. Um, Matt was saying he was struggling to get it on his like dining room table. Yeah, so it should it's be like massive. a pretty big thing. Um, and I think there's also like online cases you can solve as well. So it's not just the content in the box. You can then go get other stuff on top. Now, mm -hmm. we I've been keen to play this for a little while. And I've just realized, uh, or I just saw this morning, I think, uh, that it's actually, I think, coming back into stock. 
Um, so check your fr friendly local game store or wherever you get your board games because I think this is actually coming back now. Um, it did I'm 100 sell out buying this. Quickly. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. Look how like just even like the the style that it's done is like adorable. Every single character in this, I just like, I love how they've been drawn. I love the little characteristics. Just it's so smart and so simple. Yeah. Um, and so nicely done. And also like once you're done. You could just color it in if you like. You I'm obsessed just with wanting in. to color it in. <laughs> I can't imagine how long it would take to color this thing in. Yeah, I, I would want to buy two just yeah. so I can color one of them in. <laughs> <laughs> Even just that bit that we saw on the demo would take a long time. Yeah, a yeah. A long, long time. You probably sure. run out of felt tips by the end. Of it. <laughs> 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 well, there it is. That's Micro Macro Crime City. Um, that was just the demo. Obviously, it comes with way more cases of the box. Um, we have got uh, a little bit more of a discussion about it on an episode of the podcast, which I'll link to at the end of this video, so have a little look out for that. Um, but I'm hoping to grab a copy of this, maybe for a review as well, because I think, pardon me, um, this could be one of my new favourite games, because mm -hmm. I really, really love how it works, and I love detective games, so this might be this might be a big one. <laughs> um, and it sounds like Lodis will have some thoughts on it as well, if you're going to grab a copy. So... Look out for that. Thank you very, very much for watching. This has been Dicebreaker Plays Macro, Micro Macro Crime City. We'll see you on the next one. If this is your first time here, please do hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon to get notified every time we put a new video live. You can also find us on dicebreaker.com where we've got all sorts of fantastic written articles. Uh, and you don't have to rely on me using my mouth because I can't say words, apparently. Uh, and also, <laughs> you can get some exclusive Dicebreaker merch over at dicebreaker.myshopify. Com. So here, in our quickest Let's Play ever, thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. Have a lovely day. Goodbye! Bye!